Greetings from Fin Study Club. My name is Ankur Kulstresh. Continuing the series of questions that we have started on capital budgeting. So this session is the third video in the series of five. So we have already talked about the payback period. We have already talked about the net present value. Let's see what does this video, the third one, uh, has in store. This question states. An analyst has gathered the following information about a company with a 12% cost of capital. Project A and B, the cost is 15,000 and 25,000. The life is 5 years and 5 years and the cash inflows for each of these years, uh, these must be per annum, uh, is uh, 5,000 and uh, 7,500. If the project A and B are mutually exclusive, what should the company do? This is a very, very interesting question, uh, you know, which really kind of leaves it open ended. So not only the technique, you know, the application of that, uh, you know, is, is required, but also the applicability, applicability. What I mean by that, that when the projects are mutually exclusive, what should be the best technique? Now, if we have done the basics correctly, the net present value is the best technique that needs to be followed uh, you know even when there is a size difference even if there is a size difference the net present value is the best uh, you know when we talk about the uh, you know mutually exclusive project so uh, you know we need to calculate the npv of project a and npv of project b so which i'm going to do using my beta 2 calculator now since the cash flows are pretty constant uh, I can either do it by the cash flow function or I can also do it by the time value of money function okay so I'm going to do that by cash flow function wherein I'm going to type as CF0 negative 15,000 n is equal to 5 and uh, you know CF1 is equal to 5,000 so by doing that and uh, I by Y being 12% I get an answer of NPV being equal to the 18,024 minus the original cost of a positive 3,024. So that means uh, A needs to be accepted in any case. Therefore, in the given scheme of things, option C has become the chosen answer because A and B both says reject A but uh, you know let's just still you know consider uh, you know project B and its NPV by again using the same fundamental wherein my cash flows will be 7500 and 25,000 is the initial cost so this reads as 27,034 less 25,000 is equal to 2034 so both the projects are positive so had these been independent ones both would have been selected but in case of mutually exclusive you really need to select the best out of them so therefore option C is therefore the right answer so a little while ago whereas I had said that I need to automatically reject A and B is actually the wrong statement to make because the projects were mutually exclusive it would have been still possible uh, that I would have gone for project B uh, if the NPV of project B would have been a little higher so I take back my words uh, you know of kind of selecting A just by calculating the NPV of A because actually A even with a positive NPV could have been rejected have uh, had this NPV of project B uh, would be uh, you know greater than that of A so I hope that this very small session uh, was this was like the third, you know, uh, video in the series. Uh, you know, should you write us at finstudyclub at the gmail.com. We would be very, very happy to handle your queries, questions or doubt. You can also, and in fact, you should, you know, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, which is Fin Study Club, where a lot of action is taking place in terms of level one and uh, level two videos also very soon. This was Ankur Kulstresht from Fin Study Club signing off. Looking forward to speak to you in my next session. Thank you very much.